I'm back with another video. Today we have fake alpha male tries and fails to intimidate men. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. How do you define success? My definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean fucking shit to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a fucking clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb fucking ass. Okay. But this is the whole fucking point. You have a weakness. Change it, motherfucker. How the fuck are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out? They're not going to listen to you. You're sitting there possessing shit that they don't want to have. So, I mean, this is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. Motherfucker. When you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray area. You have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. And that's the worst thing about these mother They try to give you relationship advice. You got a borderline Miami 2. That's like a fucking Mississippi 6. Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a 2, mother Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm going to put the measuring stick to their mother face. They better just watch what they say around a mother who's big. Shit. If we making sense of all of this, you talking about him. You talking about him too. You said with titties, somebody that's out of shape with no muscles. He ain't got no muscles. You were referring to him and you were referring to him. Fresh. You were referring to him as well. <laughs> you talking about muscle and shit across the board. Like somebody that can hold it down in every aspect. Strong, competent, capable, leader, rich. Uh, <laughs> a few of them catching stray bullets then. That's up here. <laughs> a few of them catching stray bullets for sure. Beating them in every area. You better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better can be rolling some sick shit. That's what I like. I, I grew up hustling. There's be rims on my goddamn phantom. Go out front. That ain't, no, that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal shit. F that. Chicks got upgrades. Done. Well said, Wes. God damn. With the fire. God damn. With the bullshit. This guy sounds like an absolute donut. He's saying if you don't have a six pack and a fast car, then you're a loser and less successful than him. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. There's plenty of men out there that don't have those things and are more high value and successful than this map here. And I will. He's right. There's some guys out there that was in special ops unit or whatever, and that eventually left for whatever reasons, and they understand who the enemy is and always was. Anything that's government or for the establishment. He's now anti-establishment. He's competent. He's capable. He know what's edible in nature. You have his life skills. He know how to get water from a tree. He know how to get water from a ground where you see nothing but just dry land. Somebody that's competent, capable, that can sustain life on its own, not need someone else to sustain his existence. Like, yeah, so you got guys out there that he is in that range of probably, probably barely 100K annually, but it do them just fine. And they might not have a family due to whatever reasons. And they, and they literally like the Equalizer, Denzel from the Equalizer, or the Book of Eli. And, and shape too, strong enough to disarm you. How, however, however, this, however much he weigh, that can break your fingers, kill you with a pencil or whatever. How big you is, that can reduce your muscle, all that time, blood, sweat, and tears, pumping iron, that can get rid of you with his bare hands. His whole body is a weapon. He's competent. He's a head of a head, <laughs> like behind backwards. You got them kind of men that exist too, and I agree with the rarity thing. That's how I, I go off of rarity. Like, how rare are you in opposed to your counterpart or whoever? Or if you lined up with these guys too, like, how rare are you really? So, I get that. But, yeah, I wouldn't say that's, that ain't it. The person that's really like that is the one they know that they need to make money because us as a collective agree with it. So, therefore, actualize, materialize, and manifest, and we got to do this. But you making up just to be comfortable or whatever. And this house look like a 
a dungeon. Guns everywhere, some John Wick shit, punching bag in his room. I'm about to get one in my room. A guy underneath his desk, underneath his pillow, tripwire, roll out the bed, throw a C4, double tap, score, and detonate. Nah, all jokes aside, you do got guys like that too. And that's what I'm working towards to become one of those too. I'm not trying to necessarily be glitz and glamour. Look at my Bugatti. I mean, I'm, I'm more of an old school Lincoln Continental James Bond coupe kind of guy anyway. So, uh, not to say I wouldn't get nothing new because I would like that too. Like I got something new and I got something old school, but my usual is going to, my default setting is going to be the old school, but that's what I, that's what I resonate with. Um, but yeah, it's a guy that look like a normal guy. The equalizer that will come up here and kick all y'all ass. <laughs> one by one. Or at the same time if you want. So yeah, this isn't some hoop blah for real. I get what he's saying though. Some truth in it. Cause imagine that. You being this rich guy. You having these ripped abs. And for a, a simple guy, got enough muscle, strong enough, but that can come, disarm you, knock you out of your Bugatti, and kill you. He can reduce all your blood, sweat, and tears. If you pump your iron and becoming a millionaire, and the girl you got at home or whatever, he can literally get rid of you if he die woke. So. so a lot of you guys invested in the wrong things. You need to really invest in skill. Literally life skills and being competent and capable. Are you really like that? A lot of these people he talk He talking about with money A lot of these niggas drop-offs. Let's be 100 somebody that will come in here with a pencil and kill you like That's a real thing And that's how I look at it like again, I'm picking the future mother of my children based off as if I was the kid I'm having and if I can look back, if I have my father, I wouldn't want man to be somebody I know I can depend on that's coming through. Like a James Bond, Keanu Reeves, John Wick, Equalizer, like somebody that's really embodied that essence. That's sharp, like the kind of shit I want to teach my kids. I want to teach them what I learned later. I made stupid ass mistake of just simply not knowing or whatever, just going off on a whim or whatever. But I want my kids to be able to dis dissemble guns in a few seconds with a blindfold on and then assemble them back with the same blindfold on in a few seconds knowing how to read a map coordinates N not being subjected to just one language that's a chink in your armor for real it's about people places and things you're going to go places there's going to be people there with things meaning if that's home team and you just travel somewhere they got advantage because it's home team. They know where to go. They know if it's a sand tog over there, we can commit this crime. And then we can go and have, oh, they got advantage. And the things, they might have machetes and want to impose their will on you. It's about people, places, and things. You're going to go places. It's going to be crazy people. It could be somebody to help you out. But oh, he just gave me $100. He don't give a fuck about that. He got an agenda at the end of the day to take you home and put you in his freezer and eat you later like Jeffrey Dahmer. So, yeah, life is, is dangerous. It's about people, places, and things. I understand it. And it's like all females. It's like they really kids by nature. They just think, la, 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 la. They just, that's what they think. And it's like, so I got to think. I got a guy in my family. I got to think for them. And my woman, my future woman, she would have to feel for me. You know, like how you, when you got a woman, she about, oh, I don't go this late. I don't want you to. I don't, it don't feel right. And then you listen to her come to find out something happened to that same place she was going to go. Or you actually go and something happened to your ass. So no, divine masculine energy, divine feminine electron energy, we come together together and make synergy or we're one in unison on the same accord. And, but yeah, just about how he talking, his, he fit within the fines of an archetype, default settings. Now he above the, 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 the regular. You get what I'm getting at though, like. So, yeah, I want to embody that and become that for mine because that's what I would have wanted for myself. Not just going out on a, you learning all that for nothing. You're, what is the likelihood of that happening? People that come with cures or anything that that's, goes against the establishment, they always get picked off and killed. Now, if you had an equalizer kind of guy in there that know how the government work, know how the CIA and don't move, he can be steps ahead. He can be all of all them. And come out on top and disclose whatever need to be disclosed of. 
A lot of people be drop offs because they don't know what to do in these situations they never been in before. I refuse to be one of those. If I got the money and the means to do so, I'm going I'm to correct that shit. Take it a step further. That shit's so deep. When you do that, you unlock and make new connections in your neural pathways. You unlock new DNA with yourself. So if when you do have kids, they'll be more susceptible to these talents, gifts, and traits. If not already have it off rip, they may be more susceptible to picking it up very fast. Just by you taking the time out to learn that and rewriting your DNA and add a positive, rewriting your DNA, do whatever happened to your forefathers, do epigenetic memory and neuroplasticity, affirmate with the corresponding feeling, placebo, actualize, materialize, and manifest a reality for yourself you want and you understand physics. So that's what I want to do. I don't give a fuck about being on here and parade and being amongst masculine men. I ain't even finna, bow, I ain't even finna fire shots. Few of these niggas on here is not masculine. <laughs> he talking about him too. Look how he looking at him. You drive a nice Rolls Royce, huh, bud? You got a nice hot chick with a sweet ass, huh? She ain't got no ass at all. She built like an ironing board, bent, bent over backwards. You ain't got no muscles. He talking to you too. Him, he got muscles, but you can tell he a drop off. No swag, no unisense, none of that. <laughs> Can't hit no move, handing up, holding up the wall in a club, hitting one of these. <laughs> he one of those. Like I can scan you. You fit within the fans of this archetype I've seen already. We all been conditioned with the same programming. Whether you seen this movie, and I've seen this one, or you didn't see this one, and I've nonetheless you still fit within that, and you still fit within this underneath this umbrella of human nature with default settings you can't pass no polygraph test you cannot pass a lie detector test you ain't even learn how to do that y'all ain't gonna know what the fuck i'm talking about. this crazy but yeah he talking about a few of y'all he may even be talking about himself shit let's continue We'll say to some extent there's some things I agree with. I've said before that I yeah, think some men should try and be with. physically and mentally strong. And to also have enough money to be financially stable. But I yeah. don't think success is all about money and materialism. Because without a family and real people around you, what's the point? Yeah, because you're, you're going to need someone. The bad guys, the elitists, they all for the bad. But they got a brotherhood of them all doing bad as a collective and in unit since then. They are organized to fucking over the populace. So I, I understand you're going to need someone. So you need a brotherhood, a bunch of Keanu Reeves and James Bonds and John Wicks and equalizers. I get that. Um. So, yeah, my success, that would be. That would be to do that, to go and learn all my skills, to go and learn all my skills, to amplify my skill set. To enchant what I got going on. All the life skills. Reading the map. Learning what's edible in nature. How, again, it's about people, places, and things. The, the right way to move. Like, how do the president move? What they do? Take the extra precaution if you got the money to do so. And my car be bulletproof. It'll be a bunch of things I'm doing. Just I'm just different. i always been. But um, So that would be success to me. It's me literally. Well, I can literally look up and I'm competent, capable, and sharp. And I don't need nobody else helping. I can do it all myself. Master the art of detachment. I'm a stoicist after all. It's not avoidable. Unless you want your own, that shit, the, the world, the pain to implode on you and you self-destruct or crash out. Either way, you self-destruct. Like, nah, that's, that's, it's not even necessary. I wouldn't say that. It's, you're not a man, a God's man without it. It's 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 an it's attachment that makes a man a man. Like you cannot not have it. Um. Yeah, when I really can look up and I'm, I can, I look forward to that. If I'm fortunate enough to do that in the future, to wear suits uh, most of the time. Not how they be doing it. I got style. Not how they be doing it. It's different. On my James Bond, Taylor made my James Bond cologne. I'm competent. I'm capable. I'm sharp. I got my PPK. I got a few other. Ones. I got a gun. They'll look like a phone with one big ass sniper rifle bullet. I'm just like how I move already. Somebody can hand me a drink. I'm not drinking it. I'm already out like the somebody out trying to get me. That's just how I move. So I look forward to being to being able to be 